everyone, another project I like to share with you, make by request. And the fabric I have two different ones, and uh, the fabric side is 12 in by 12 inches. And on the back side, in the wrong side of the main fabric, I have ironed the interfacing in here. I use the light, the featherweight interfacing, and then I iron in the back side of the main fabric. So now you're gonna face two together, the right side, head and sew all around four sides to here and stop. Everyone, after I sew all around and I left the three inch so I can inside out, so go ahead and cut the corners. So if you hear the kid talk and they're too loud, just let me know, everyone, because it's um it's only a few more days they're back to school. So I just let them play game. Sometimes that they can be very loud. So go ahead and inside out this, everyone. Press all the side, everyone, and after that, you go and iron. After you iron, you go, you go ahead and uh, top stick all around. So everyone, after I sew top stick all around, I'm going to fold. This is a fold and iron, fold and iron. So you're gonna fold it like this. I do many things off camera too. So after that, you're gonna go the other way and fold the same thing. You open that, now you have four. To bring this to the center. And then this side. And then on this side, the top one right here, you don't have to do anything. All you need to do is just bring the right side in the middle and then the left side to the middle. Put your finger there so nothing move. Make sure you line up everything. Put an iron on it. And the other side from the right, moving into. Make sure you put your finger in here so it won't move. I'm gonna open this and right in the center right here. I'm gonna go to the other side like this. Okay, fold it like this to the other side. Go ahead and iron. With origami, I mentioned that before to many of you. It's super easy if you pay attention to it. It one fold, you gotta fold twice, and that's how it is. I'm gonna fold this corner right here in. It's like this, okay? It's like this. So it's pointy right there. Let me just bring it in. So and and it go to here. Make sure like that like this okay this corner right here you're gonna bring it in and it's pointy at the end right on the top there this is super easy I'm just clip it there for now so it can hold it down for me on this side you're going to do the same thing remember the pointy and you can see you have something like this And then you go into this side. You're going to bring this in. When you bring it in, you're gonna hold this two sides like this, 
and then you're going to gently push it in it's already half a fold for you so you don't need to do a lot you just have to push this down because all that iron from the other side when we did now you have something like this now at this time you can see you have a very cute bed already this if you want to make face map you are really recreate the face map right here face mat and hand mat it's the same I'm using almost the same technique and I'm going to clip it right so I'm going to clip on one side here when I show you what at one I'm gonna clip this one too the other side the bottom of the side here where we open the bed all right so now you have something like that and now if you make a face mat you're gonna bring this in like this okay and then you put two elastic one in here one here and then one here just right and then you have a face mat if you make a face mat everyone you're gonna sew it from here you're gonna sew the line from here up to here go to on the top and go down here and that's it and then you go on to the other side you go on to sew from here on the bottom go all the way to the top and on the side here you're going to sew all the way up to here so to be able to sew on that i have to take this whole thing out so i have room to place it inside here and start sewing and i use needle side 12 number 12 so it can go to the thick fabric after you sew on the line go ahead and go where the point is here we're gonna sew this flap to stay down so we're gonna start from here that pointy go on to here and go to this go down to here and then go down Everyone, when you are done sewing around, look at this. This is how it is. So everyone, I'm going to add the button on the side. Now, an inch away from that. And then I'm going to add this. I'm going to just hold this right here. Make sure that you see the mark that I marked right there. I'm going to make sure it stay in the middle. And I'm going to use this. So I can cut the holes. I'm using this so my uh, the cutting don't go too crazy. Okay. Now just slowly move this up a little bit so it can cut. Okay. And then go into the hole that you cut. Push the button in and it come in for you very nicely. And you go into this side. You see the leg is sticking up right there. Go ahead and spread it out. Like that. I have the holes. I'm gonna, I mean, I have a hose. Of course I do have a hose. So I'm gonna go ahead and use five pearl. You can get that from um, a Dollar Tree. That's what I got. If you don't want to, you can put the button in there if you want to use the button. You can 
place the button on top like that. But this time, I'm going to use the pearl. So, a little glue in the middle, and then I'm gonna add another pearl right there. So it looks so beautiful, like a flower. Right there. So simple. I mark it down. So I can see the other side of the button it right there. So it go in the back here, you're gonna get the place and put it on. And spread this out. I want to go ahead and add the duct tape there. Now when you're done, you go ahead and see you hear the snap, the button already. It's a magnet snap and button everyone, so it's like that. It's so cute. Now you go ahead and on the two side here, you go ahead and sew it in. So very closely here and on this side too, you see this, the opening. Go ahead, go very close on this side, go sew this line on both sides. And finish everyone. Look how cute it is. You can put so much um, coins in here. Remember all that flap in there, you can get the thread and needle and then just sew it just a little bit so it won't uh, come out. It won't come out but you know like the money will be in that hole. But look at that. How cute that is. Super cute. I really love this one. That is so, so cute. Look at that. Remember in my uh, in my description there's the link for the um, Gorilla hot glue stick. Use that one everyone for a stronger hole. I love it. This is so so cute. Okay, so um, if you want to add uh, something on the top of this, you can get the ribbon. Yeah. adorable and here the ribbon that I have you go ahead and add these two together I use Gorilla Glue so it won't fall off put this two together at the end here I cut the bow a inches long and go on the top here right in the middle of this then you can just add it in there or you can add it on the side or up to you whatever you like to do and i'll place it in the middle where the fold line here i'm gonna add the glue to it add it in right in the middle isn't that so adorable i love it So here, I open this, I can put the chains in there. And then if I have, if I bring a card, you see this one the other day I make? That it, my gift card. So I can use this and put it in. It will stay up like that, it won't fall out. Stay up like that and then you can get some money you can put it in here too put all the way down you see this is closed on the top so it won't fall out and then if this come all the way down so it won't fall everyone look at this how cute super cute you can make it bigger too thank you so much for watching everyone the video a bit long i am so sorry for that and um, i try my best to bring uh, more useful activity to share with you stay safe and take care everyone if you like the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe